All right, next up, we're going to talk about calendars, triggers, and more. We'll click into there. Travel Assist, this is one of my favorite features. So this is a feature that lets you plan any trips that you're going to be taking or you might be going to a different time zone. And then you can go ahead, once you have your trip scheduled in there, you can go ahead and plan your schedule based on what it's going to be like when you're there. If you're traveling outside your time zone and you're going to schedule an appointment for 2 o'clock, your, the appointment that you create will be two o'clock local time zone. So if you've ever traveled and had your appointment shift on you because you, you scheduled an appointment while you were back in your other time zone, this travel assist feature is a great one to help you manage all that. Okay, manage your calendars. This, and for each of these calendars, you can click on the calendar and you'll have a few different options for each one of those calendars. Pick a color, pick an icon, which sync which informant sync account it's going to go to do you want it to be your default pick the time zone whether you want the event checker uh, alarms on or off whether it's read only the estimated time of arrival that has to do with the uh, screen that shows you your estimated time of arrival so for each of your calendars you can choose those settings on the ios calendars to use so if you are tapping into your native ios calendars, you can choose which of those calendars are going to show up. So you can put a checkbox by multiple calendars there, and those apps will be available inside your Manage Calendars area. Okay, Manage Tags. Tags are great. You can create tags here. For each one of the tags, you can pick and choose an icon that would be associated with that particular tag. Triggers. We've got a separate video on triggers, so I'm just going to talk briefly about this. Triggers. You, if, you, if you create a trigger, a trigger can pick up on a certain word, a keyword, so in this case, grocery or Costco. So if I type in grocery or Costco into a task, into an event, or to either a task or an event, then it's going to apply whatever I create here in this trigger to that event as I create it. So anytime I create Costco grocery in a task or an event, it's going to go ahead and it's going to create a checklist for me and it's going to put almond milk, peanut butter, and protein bars on that, on, on that task or that event. Now if I wanted to set a star, if I wanted to set a priority on that task, if I wanted to associate it with a particular project, those are all things that can be done based on these triggers. Okay, saved filters and smart filters. We're gonna create a separate video on those two items, but just to provide a little bit of context, these are basically saved filters or saved views, ways of looking at your calendar or your task data that rely on custom search criteria. So if I have a smart filter I might have a smart filter that shows me any tasks that are not completed, where the due date is not set, and I can build some, some various complex rules, and those, the, these smart filters will basically allow you to create uh, filters for your various different tasks or appointments.